Today in the news, we got a major delay from AMD, an Intel in heat, and a dumb launcher. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. We've been waiting for it, but it looks like the 3950X will be delayed. AMD took to Twitter today to let us know that they are focusing on demand for the third gen Ryzen processors that are out right now, and because of that, they now plan to launch the Ryzen 3950X in November. Not only that, but it also seems like Threadripper has been delayed too. If you recall, a few videos ago, I talked about the listing of the 3950X, which had a small note from AMD that the September release was not guaranteed. Well, there it is. This might be caused by TSMC announcing a few days ago that their production lead time tripled over the last few days. That means order fulfillment could take up to six months. I'm glad they're focusing on current products for now though. The 3900X is already pretty rare right now if you try to buy one, and it's definitely the more value-oriented high-core count CPU out there. As for Threadripper, we've been hearing about an October release, but that too has been moved to November. On the marketing material, it shows that Threadripper 3 will start at 24 cores. No word on actual max core count from the platform yet, but a 16 and 32 core variant have been spotted on user benchmark. Also, I've seen some comments about how Threadripper at 64 cores would eat some of Epic's market. Let me put this one to rest. While I don't think that we will see a Threadripper 3000 at 64 cores for reasons stated in uh, this video, Epic has nothing to do with it. First gen Epic last did two generation and had a max of 32 cores, and AMD released a 32 core Threadripper CPU during that time. That's a whole year where Epic and Threadripper had the same core count. So that argument, I think we can stick it into the trash. Epic has features that Threadripper just doesn't have, and they go way beyond what core count and clock speeds are. Moving on to some Navi news, well, there isn't much, so let's keep it short. Reports are popping up that Navi 14 and Navi 12 GPUs will launch in October. This comes after AMD's added support for them into Mesa 19.2. Mesa 3D is an open source software implementation of OpenGL, Vulkan, and other graphics API specifications. So basically, it means AMD is in the final stages of making sure that this version of Navi is ready to deploy. And while it's absolutely normal for AMD to add support there for new Navi GPUs, I don't think we should take these reports seriously. It doesn't really mean anything. Plus, the final version of Mesa 19.3 will not release until November 5th. In Intel news, it looks like the heat is on. Their upcoming 9900KS, which puts all of the cores at 5 gigahertz, will apparently have a TDP of 127 watts. This was found by Redditor Urotho, who saw an update on the ASUS support page for this SKU. Now, 127 watts is the baseline for this chip, and it's basically calculated at base clock, at least for Intel. This means that when the chip enters its boost state, or states for Intel, it's going to be sizzling. I mean, think about it. A CPU with a TDP of 95 watts with all of the Intel specs met can pull up to and beyond 150 watts from the wall when boosting. If you start at 127 watts TDP for base, you're going to have to dissipate a lot of heat. At this point, it's safe to say that you'll have to be careful in your choice of coolers. At least, it'll warm up the room in the winter. I should really get myself a 9900KS. Moving on, it looks like Rockstar Games made a pretty bad decision with the launch of, uh, well, their launcher. According to Ars Technica, who tested the launcher, it seems like the Rockstar Games launcher is now mandatory to run certain games. They installed it on a system to test it out, they then uninstalled it and tried to run GTA 5 directly from Steam. Well, Steam then automatically loaded the Rockstar launcher installation process. Basically, you can't play unless you have it. I tested it on my system and it's actually true. There is a chance that this only happens if you only uh, install the Rockstar launcher once before, but I can't test that because I have installed it. If one of you guys could check it out and let me know, that'd be great. Anyways guys, that is pretty much it for the news today. I'm gathering questions again for the next month's Q&A, so once again, if you wanna get a chance to get your question answered, uh, put it down below with the hashtag Q&A. Uh, is it that way? Yeah, Q&A. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm gonna go bake a pie. Oh boy, what flavor!
Pie, pie, pie. I baked you a pie.